And joining me now in the studio is Taiwan's Minister of the Environment, Mr. Ying Yuan Li. Thank you very much Thank for you joining for, us. Thank you. Now, all eyes are on COP23, currently underway in Bonn at the moment. Taiwan is uh, not a signatory to the Paris Agreement. It's not a member of the United Too Nations. Bad. 80% of, uh, well, your power is made up from fossil fuels. What are you doing about that? Yeah, so uh, in order to comply with the Paris Agreement, uh, our president Tsai Ing-wen, uh, in an inaugural speech, said we are going to uh, join the fight uh, in challenging the climate change. So first, we are going to restructure the whole energy mix. We are going to cut down the coal energy from 45.5% to 30% by 2025. So, and also we are all going to uh, increase the uh, green energy from 5% to 20%. And we will uh, also uh, increase the natural gas from 20% uh, to 50%. Mm -hmm. So by replacing the coal uh, with the uh, natural gas, we can cut down about 40%. So we are going to cut in together 40% of the uh, carbon dioxide. Let me just pick you up on that then, because green energy sure. share after doing the maths is around uh, 20%. Um, natural gas is still a fossil fuel though. So is this just not a distraction from more renewable energy? Uh, in a way, yes. But from the, the level, the extent of the emission of the carbon dioxide, it does decrease, reduced by 40% compared to the coal. You know, you have so many coal demonstrations just a few days ago. Right yeah. here in Bonn. Yeah. Yeah. In Bonn, right here yeah, in yeah. Germany. So exactly the same. You are going to phase out the nuclear uh, energy by 2022. We close with 2025. You see the demonstration is like the same. So we are going to phase out by 2025. So this is a transition period. But we are determined to you know, comply with the Paris Agreement. We'll do everything we can. You're determined, but you are not a signatory to the Paris Too Agreement. Bad. We are sad about that. So that means um, that in some ways you're not part of the rule book that's currently being drawn up. So how then do you make sure the industry in Taiwan does switch to renewable? Do you offer them incentives? Can mm. you police that? Yeah, uh, because we are also, uh, you know, uh, industrialised uh, state. Uh, we rank number five uh, in trading uh, volume with uh, Germany in Asia and uh, some 21, 22 worldwide. Uh, our semiconductor is uh, quite uh, uh, vibrant industry. You know, uh, polar, uh, 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 sun, sun, uh, sun power, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, plate is also very in important. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we are going to in introduce this cap and trade system uh, by 2020. How will that work? Uh, uh, because the, we are going to issue the, uh, the re uh, renewable energy certificate to those who comply with the uh, emission standard. Uh, so then they can use this uh, certificate uh, as a trading, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a target uh, in, in the future. Right, this in, in this emission trading system, they can trade in a cap and trade, you know, into this international uh, carbon uh, market system. I'm sure you're well aware of mm. the fact, Minister, of course, that mm. um, renewable energy is one thing. It doesn't always equate to energy efficiency. Taiwan is currently the world's 22nd largest economy. What effect will switching to renewables have on your economic standing. Are you concerned about that? Oh, yeah. So we have to have good dialogue with the industry. And we are going to provide this uh, renewable energy uh, by, by location. For example, uh, the central Taiwan is good in wind power. We, the uh, you know, industry will try to use the, the, that kind of uh, uh, wind power in that area. So you would uh, improve the efficiency by uh, cutting down the loss of the uh, energy because of transportation. And that is supply side. On the um, mm -hmm. uh, demand side, we are also going to introduce this kind of smart uh, grid system so you can uh, more efficiently uh, use the energy that you produced. Mm. Okay, Mr. Mm. Ying Yuan Li, Taiwan's Minister of the Environment. Pleasure to have you with us here on DW. Thank you. Thank you.